All right, guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at tooltips in React. The package we are going to be making use of is tippy.js, the React version. Tooltips are usually required in 9 out of 10 web applications, so I felt that introducing a tooltip library is a good idea. As always, we are going to start off with the installation. If I go back to VS Code, you can see that I have already created a project using create react app. In the terminal, within the project folder, I'm going to run the command yarn add within single quotes at tippy.js slash react. This is going to install the library for use in our application. Once the installation completes, I'm going to head over to app.js and remove the header component to keep the JSX simple. Now let's add a basic tooltip. For that, step one is to make the necessary imports. First, we import the tippy component. Import tippy from at tippy.js slash react and then we also need to import the core CSS so import tippy.js slash dist slash tippy.css all right now let's say we have a simple button for which we need to add a tooltip so I'm going to add a button with the text hover. To add a tooltip to this element, we simply wrap the element with the tippy component. So tippy opening tag, the button, and then tippy closing tag. The tippy component accepts a prop called content, which basically is the tooltip content. For our basic example, I'm going to assign a string basic tooltip and that is pretty much it i'm going to save the file open the terminal again and run the command yarn start in the browser if i now hover on the button we can see the tooltip with the content basic tooltip so that's the most simplest example Next, let's see what else is possible with the tippy component. The first thing I would like to point out is that the content prop can also accept HTML elements. Let me show you an example. I'm going to wrap this tippy component with a div tag and add a padding bottom of 20 pixels. This is just to have some separation between the different elements we are going to use for our examples. So style, padding bottom, 20 pixels. Now I'm going to make a copy of this div tag and then paste it. This is going to be our second tippy component. But this time as the content, instead of specifying a string, I'm going to specify an HTML element. So content is going to be a span tag with the text as colored and on the span tag I'm going to add some style color orange. If I now save the file and take a look at the browser you can see that we have an orange colored tooltip. So HTML elements also work perfectly fine. Now what is also possible is specifying a React component as the content. So at the top, I'm going to create a simple React component. Const colored tooltip is equal to an arrow function where we return the same span tag that says colored component and we're going to apply a style color yellow 
back in the app component JSX, I'm going to add another TP component by copy pasting the existing div tag, but this time specifying the content as the component we just defined. So colored tooltip. If I now save the file, go back to the browser and hover on the third button, we should see a yellow tooltip. So these are the variations on the tippy component content prop. Next, let's talk about the children component. It is possible to specify another React component as the children or the child to the tippy component. So I'm going to create another component. Const custom child is equal to an arrow function, props as the parameter and returns some HTML. A div tag, another div tag that says first line, and then a second div tag that says second line. Now in the JSX, I can add another tippy component. So copy the div tag, paste it. This time though, instead of button as the child, I'm going to include our custom component. If we now take a look at the browser, you can see that our application is broken. To fix this, that is, if you want to use a custom component as a child, you need to forward the ref to the DOM node. So at the top, import React and then forward ref from React. Next, wrap your arrow function with forward ref. So custom child is going to be equal to forward ref, which is a function. And I'm going to pass this component as the argument to forward ref. When we use forward ref though, we get access to a reference. This ref is going to be passed to our div tag in our custom child component. So all we have done is get hold of ref with forward ref and then use that ref with the ref attribute on the div tag. If I now save the file and we take a look at the browser, you can see that we have our custom component. I hover on it and we can see the tooltip, colored component. All right, the last thing I want to cover is some of the more important props on the TP component. The first one is the arrow prop. This basically determines if the tooltip has an arrow or not. So on the first tooltip, let's set arrow is equal to false. If you take a look at the browser, you can see that the arrow has disappeared for our first hover button. The other tooltips still have the arrow. The second prop is the delay prop, which adds a delay to both showing and hiding of the tooltip. Let's add delay is equal to 1000, which is one second. So again, on the first tooltip, delay is equal to 1000 milliseconds. If I now hover on the first button, the tooltip appears after one second. I move away the pointer and the tooltip disappears after one second. The final prop is the placement prop, which as the name indicates is to decide the place for the tooltip. By default, the tooltip placement is to the top of the element. However, if there is no place at the top, it is rendered at the bottom. This adjustment of placement is automatically handled by the library. Possible values for placement are top, bottom, left, and right. Let's try placement is equal to right on our first tippy component. Take a look at the browser and the tooltip is on the right. You can also suffix the placement with start or end to shift the tooltip. For example,
placement is equal to top start. So on the last tooltip, I'm going to add placement is equal to top start. Take a look at the browser and the tooltip is at the top and at the start. You can of course set the placement as per your requirement. Now there are plenty more props on the tippy component but I will leave that for you guys to play around with. For now that is pretty much what I have on tooltips in React. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.